Crazy pass intended for Reed is incomplete, intercepted by number 23.
much fight in it. It's, it's incredible. Um, we knew we knew what we had to do, and we knew we could do it. As long as we just stay in the fight, it's going to be something that we we're going to be able to accomplish. So uh, that's a hell of a team that we just beat there. And uh, I don't really know what to say. I'm speechless right now. You know, I just told them how proud it was of uh, the effort uh, that they put in all year, and and uh, they've been a great group to work with. Uh, very talented. Uh, um, so I just tell them I was proud of them, and you know sometimes the ball bounces uh, funny ways. Uh, it, it always comes down to a play or two, and uh, you know if we make a first down down there, it's probably uh, probably going to run it, run it out. But uh, came up a few inches short, and so uh, you know it's, t- it's a tough one, a tough one it takes about uh, these kids and and uh, you know them fulfilling their dream to possibly uh, play for state championship and and uh, so I feel bad for them but uh, you know they're uh, been a good group to work with so uh, you know, again I'm, I'm proud of them. you know we <laughs> like the underdog we like being the underdog we were two years ago we were almost the whole time here so nobody really expected us to do what we're doing now so it's we like being the underdog and having that awesome story so won the conference uh, made it all the way to the semis uh, uh, you know it's like I said, uh, they've, they've accomplished a lot. Uh, they, all the coaches, uh, I'm proud of them too. They, uh, they really hung in there and they did a great job. You know, we're just stay composed. Um, you know, we get if we get riled up, then that's that's where stuff goes wrong. So we just stay composed and get it done. And we knew that our run game was going to really set that up for us. So if we just keep going, we got you know great field position to where we could set up that good throw and then ultimately get the kick. So composure was the biggest aspect of that of the end right there. You know it's incredible to be able to do it on our field, especially you know underdog once again, and it feels good. But you know we knew they were possibly better than the team we played two years ago. And Dem, kid's a horse. He's, he's going big places. And you know, two years older, two years wiser, and stronger. We knew he was going to be a load. So it, it means so much to me to be able to win on this field. It's my 14th year playing on this field, so it's amazing. In 2A, St. Teresa at Nashville, Bulldogs Joe Brummer hands it off to Denon Cook from the 45. He spreads all the way down to the three-yard line. Then Brummer passes 49 yards to Trey Spence, who catches it over his shoulder to put St. T up 35-21 to 21 with eight minutes to go in the game. Nashville's second onside kick works again as they keep control of the ball. Eduardo Garibay drills the game when field goal with three seconds left to win 37-35. St. Teresa finishes the season 12-1.